Hey guys, and welcome back to Devil's Third. When we last left off, we were, well, shooting our way through the hospital, which apparently is full of zombies and mutants, because, okay, why not? Anyway, we did split off from the main party. They took the uh, one side of the hospital, we took the other side. So it's just Ivan here with Nick. And hey, what could possibly go wrong? So let's go deeper into this hospital. And enjoy this utter train wreck of a game. Oh, zombies. I mean, sure. Um, <laughs> that went well, didn't it? Uh, I guess... I guess they can just run through explosives? Question mark? I mean, why not? They are freaking zombies. Now let's go see what we can do. Have you noticed that they all run the same animation at the same time. And I have no idea what Nick's doing. I think Nick's given up somewhere. Which is fine. I can understand Nick. I feel your pain. <laughs> all these, these zombies, like, they're all identical. Even to the point where they run the same animation. And how the fuck did he kill me in three hits? Hey, Bob. 46, eh? And he's captain. And he does like to wear a very fancy scar. And carry his minigun around on his back. Is he even ever going to use that? Well, I mean, we've got all of our ammo and uh, weapons back, so that's something, I guess. Well, let's get some grenades out. Let's see if these things actually do anything. Uh, questionable, I guess. Wow, these zombies, they, they, they really don't do much at all, do they? They just kind of stand there until they notice you. They don't really react to anything either in the environments. Oof. Okay. Um. Oh, bats again? Why are there bats? Okay. Proceed with caution. Roger that, sir. Yeah, come on, Nick. Let's proceed with caution whilst you, I don't know, hide in the corner somewhere. I mean, could the level design be any more boring? Any more dull? Oh, Nick's actually going in first. And there he is. Oof. Look at that. Motherfucker. Neutralize the enemy boss. Got ya. Oh, man. I have a feeling this big fucker is going to be a bastard to take down. Well... So long, Nick. We hardly knew you. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh, Ivan's tattoos contain magnetic elements that react to Nbaku. Okay. Glad they finally cleared that up for reasons. Right, well, okay. I guess we're going to be using swords. Yep, melee's where it's at, I guess. Alright. Man, look at this motherfucker's range. Jesus. Ouch. Dude. Dude. Okay. I guess... I guess we can use a mixture. Also, that thing in the middle appears to be glass. I thought it was light. <laughs> well, I mean, he's halfway to... Ooh. Oh, all right. He's... Nope. 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 Move. 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 We'll avenge you, Nick. Don't worry. Our brother from another mother. Actually, let's get some nades out. See what these do. If anything. Now, they actually do hurt him. 
which I'm quite surprised about. Very surprised that the shotgun does nothing. Um, can we move? <laughs> Thank you. Oh god, the shotgun does very little. Ow, 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 ow. Please don't die now. Please don't die. Oh shit, we've lost our sword. Because of course we have. No idea where the fuck the sword's gone. No idea. Oh, no, we have not lost it. I don't know what happened to it. And we're dead. Because I couldn't get up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so sometimes you can get up when you push B and roll to safety. Sometimes you just can't. There doesn't appear to be like any rhyme or reason to it. Let's try and stay away from his big mutated arm. We're going to go in for a couple of swipes and then run away. Swipe and run. Swipe and run. Swipe and run. Okay, let's try and keep on his weaker arm side. Ooh. Okay, that didn't work too well. Got a little bit greedy there. Nice. He can... Yeah, okay. That dodge, you can't dodge if you're still halfway through an attack. Which makes sense, but you need to be careful. Because if you push the button three or four times, the Wii U will just queue up three or four attacks. Yeah, so you're better off just attacking once, waiting for that attack to finish. And then attacking again. There's literally no point in trying to combo this guy. Like, no point at all. Which really defeats the point of it being a... Like, Ninja Gaiden-esque ruler? <sighs> And sometimes he'll just kill you outright in two hits like that. Where other times he'll only attack once. There doesn't appear to be much logic to his attacks. See that time, he didn't even hit us. The game just fucking makes it up on the spot. Yeah, I couldn't even move. I think I was stuck in a corner. Bob's name is nothing more than a code name. Actual names of Death Force members are kept highly secret. Yeah, who, like, cares, though? Nobody gives a shit. Alright. Oh, God. It's alright. It's alright, Ivan. We'll get through this. We'll get through this. What the fuck? Oh, great. There goes the katana. We'll get through this, Ivan. Uh, let's try and weaken him with the machine gun, I suppose. Oh, yeah, actually. Talk of weakening him. I think these are, the, like, the worst grenades ever. Because they just don't seem to do a lot of damage. And... They have a hell of a fuse on them. Alright, there we go. Dodge, dodge, dodge. There we go. Oh god, that was not good. Yeah, there was like no pause between attacks there. Come on. See, look at that. Somehow... Like, we, had, we avoided the, the swing. I don't know how, though. Because there we didn't. There's no rhyme or reason with the attacks or the combos. 
It's like his moves have no pattern to them at all. Sometimes he just pauses between attacks and sometimes he doesn't like that. And we're dead again because we got stuck in a corner. Yeah. Oh man. It doesn't help that the game's running at about 15 frames a second. Oh, he's puking on me. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. No? Okay. We're not dead. Even though he literally had us in a perfect... He literally had us in like a perfect um, position there to take us out. Here we go. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're literally stuck. Can I move, please? Thank you. I soften him up with some more bullets. Yes, he's going down. There we go. Ouch. Alright. Cool. Let's see if we can drop him with the gun again. Hopefully we can. Okay, cool. There's nowhere to run from this guy. Like, his attack range is like half of this map. <sighs> okay, there we go. Maybe next time he's stunned, we're just going to throw all of our grenades at him. Maybe that could work. Let's reload. There we go, he's down. Fingers crossed this will do something to him. Admittedly, not much. But hey, that's okay. Yeah, we just don't want to get close to him. Kinda seems like a good idea to get close to him, but, you know, the way he actually attacks us is so inconsistent. I'm just gonna avoid it. Alright, he's down, he's down, he's down. Like, if we get close to him, it can just be an instant death. Okay. So that's the first time he's killed us in one hit. And I think that's the first time that I can think of where he's strung three hits together as well. And because he was in the middle of the room, we had nowhere to go. And we didn't even have time to react then. Ah. Cool game. I think this is probably the worst game that I've ever played. And I'm not actually joking there. I mean, I don't know, Clock Tower 2 was pretty bad. But Clock Tower 2 came out, you know. Ah, he's going down. Clock Tower 2 came out during the PlayStation 1 generation, you know. This game came out five years ago. Five years ago. Not 15. I mean, it looks like it's about 15 years old. And why is he going down so quick now? Is, does he have like a weak spot that you can't see? Does he have a weak spot? I mean, his head doesn't seem to do much. Really not good. Really not good. He's in the middle of the screen there. Okay. Let's try and fry his ass. And we're stuck on the wall here. Really stuck on the wall here. Double tap. Dead. Oh my god. Uh, 
I cannot believe Nintendo published this mess. Come on. Okay. Maybe his arm is his weak spot. I mean, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but... Maybe it is, because it sure as fuck is not his head. Um, why can't I dodge? Okay, he... Went down for some reason. I don't know why he went down. I'm not really interested in trying to work it out anymore, to be honest. There we go. Yeah, sometimes grenades seem to do a good amount of damage. I don't want to run up to him and hit him with the sword, because we pretty much always die when that happens. Okay, cool. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on, Ivan. The trouble is, his hit box... Well, his hit box is just so... Big. <laughs> or so unpredictable. Sometimes it's quite big, sometimes it isn't. See, look at that. The way he's doing his attacks. Sometimes he does a singular attack. Sometimes he does two. Sometimes he does three. There's no reasoning behind any of it. Right, we have to use the sword because we are basically out of ammo. A couple more hits is all we need. Ah, oh, thank fuck for that. <sighs> Another awful boss down. I'm glad you didn't have to see that, Nick. Neutralize the enemy boss. Well, we did that. I mean, uh, I have no words. I, we're not even going to comment on how shit that was. I mean, it's interesting. It's making Resident Evil 6 pacing and enemies look pretty good. In fact, this game is trying to be Resident Evil 6 now. He's down. I don't even know what it was that killed him. Stella, can you get them through this system? I can try. Captain, plug your exosuit data link into the server. I'm in. These look like Soviet government reports. To the bio-reparat. Suits with transgenic medicines. Got it. Cancer formation in the stem cells of subjects treated with transgenic medicine. I assume those were some of their patients back there. Big Mouse was the sort bioweapon specialist. Looks like he's working on something new to use against the Russians and testing it on civilians, like he did in Panama. Hold it. Big Mouse, Rundla Saha, and C4. Why are they on the subject list? Ivan. Ivan. The Soviet government originated the program, then abandoned it in 1990. But the side kept it running. The girl, C4, apparently had a natural resistance to the bioweapon. But there were... side effects. Assad still uses her blood as a medium to create transgenic medicine for its operatives. Hmm. Weapon power decreases over long distances. 
Uh, why? Ugh. Halfway up the mountain ahead, there's a brightly lit area. Considering we're under a global power outage, I'd say that's a fairly good indication of enemy presence. You and Delta should recon the sector ASAP. Well, okay. Is this going to be like more Resident Evil 6? So she's got to have some kind of like uber powers. So he's like her mentor, mentor, like daddy figure, basically. Actually, that area was created for tourists and Western dignitaries for recreational purposes. Nah. Uh -huh. Hey, where are all those ninjas that uh, they just sent? Our way. Pretty sure we just saw like a load of ninjas rushing. Towards no, just just me no. Okay. Oh fuck me! Look how. Just look how awful this looks. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Right. Well, let's go see what this is. Is this more Resident Evil Six stuff? I'm guessing the ninjas are going to come at us here. No. Damn. All the lights are on. Yeah, the lights are certainly on. Stop the chatter. Check our entry point. Oof. Oh my god. Okay, that flag just kind of like bled into existence. Right, okay. Just blow it. Shut. We're at the breach. Fall back. Sam, get a charge on it. Oh. Shit, where'd they come from? Uh, behind us, jackass. The bridge is too narrow to take them on, did you just say? Well, there's three of them, and I've just killed two in about a second. Is that what we were panicking about? All set. Take cover. Three enemies. Detonate. Oof. Whoa. Not even a dent. That's some pretty strong That's wood. Captain! I found an opening. We can get in from here. Let's go. Hmm. This way. All right. Captain, I'm picking up heat signatures mapped near the center of this area. Need you to recon. Must admit, I like wasn't expecting that. All right, let's go. Ah, hello. I wonder if there's anything snuck around here, hidden. Ooh, hello. Aha. Found some champagne. Not bad. Not bad. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a light. Jesus. Whoa. Alright, calm down, Ivan. Ivan, through the through the door, please. Thank you. Ooh, we can have more zombies down here. 
Maybe. Take a detour through the sewers. Alright. Ah, oh, more bats, because of course there are. Oh, our friend is here. Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't really want to be sliding around sewer water, would you? They really like to offer you the iron bar. Yep, yeah, well, let's go. Uh, definitely getting a Resident Evil feel. Resident Evil mixed with cooler dudes. Oof, we got some action over here. Yeah, headshots apparently do more damage, but I'm not really feeling it. Were they waiting for us? Of course they were waiting for us. Oh, shit. Okay. Yes, that auto cover system where you're not sure where it's going to kick in or not. Alright. One left. I think we're good. I have to go around what? Ah, okay. That is a weapon we haven't had before, I don't think. Hmm. Alright, you look through there, dude. I'm gonna... Oh. Alright. Come on, Jim. Uh, I'm right here, Jim. In fact, technically I'm in front of you. No, we're good. All quiet up here. For now. Uh. Is that a cat? No, not a cat. Oh, they're those ninjas that we saw in the beginning of the game. Got ya. Just the two? Hey, friendo. Let's do this then. Russian ninja versus Japanese ninja? Question mark. Alright, I mean, they're not that hard. Do you remember the ninjas from the original? Oh, hammer. Yeah, the ninjas from the original um, Ninja Gaiden. Or should I say the uh, Ninja first 3D Ninja Gaiden. They were serious shit. They had those really annoying shurikens. And I think I'm about to be killed. Uh, yes, thank you, Jin. You're welcome to catch up at any point. They also have P90s. Might try the P90. Yeah, they were nasty. The Shadow Ninja Clan, or whatever the fuck they were called. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's give the P90 a go. And they have ninja swords. Cool. Like the P90. I guess we could try the ninja sword. I mean, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's exactly the same as every other sword in the game. Of which, thinking about it, there's only been one. That's right, buddy. Take your time. Hey, bud, come down. I don't know what you're looking at. Some fucking ninja you are. Jesus Christ. I thought you said you was almost through. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's cool. 
Okay, you was attacking me whilst I was locked in the animation with the other guy. Yeah, that seems legit. Must be Jane's forces. Jane's forces? Oh, right, Jane. Fuck me, is it going to crash? So Jane's the one that we haven't so seen insane. yet. Where the hell are we? Now, I must admit, the enemies in this game do seem straight out of a Metal Gear game. Nice. I mean, yeah. The weapon, well, this sword definitely feels just the same as the katana. I wouldn't be able to tell you what weapon we were using in a blind test, put it that way. Alright, so save complete, another checkpoint. Right, well, that's about as uh, as much of this um, <laughs> questionable content as I can take for now. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. When we come back, I guess we're going to continue looking for Jane. I think that's the first time we've actually heard her name mentioned, so that's a thing. Yeah, this game. Oh. I still I still think that you know it's it it would be if it actually ran properly um and didn't constantly feel like the Wii U's gonna overheat and crash, it would be a solid four out of ten. But in its current state, it's it's just so broken. I've never played a game that's that that lags so much with such an unplayable frame rate. I mean, it's interesting that Cyberpunk's having a class action lawsuit over its performance and whatnot. But I mean, I guess that was a much bigger game, much more attention on it. But this game. The thing is with Cyberpunk, I know it doesn't excuse it, but that will eventually become probably fairly well optimized. Remember The Witcher 3? That was rough when it came out. Beautiful games have run on any platform now. This game launched in an unplayable state, and like I said, if I wasn't doing this for YouTube, I would still say this game is unplayable. But, you know, there we are. Ah. Uh, I guess, different developers. I mean, I suppose the thing is, this is a game that nobody actually cared about anyway. Uh, apart from a few Wii U hopefuls that really thought it was going to be the swan song for the system. Or at least, you know, get some attention for the Wii U. And uh, Nintendo obviously tested it. And they quickly decided that they didn't want to buy it. <laughs> it's actually a very interesting story, the development for this game. Nintendo picked it up because, you know... They were quite excited to have a mature um, online game on their system because that's what they were lacking in. And when they actually looked at the game, when it was almost finished, they, funny enough, they tried to find a different publisher. And nobody wanted to publish this game. So Nintendo had to publish it. And yeah, uh, the, word in, the word is, behind closed doors, they were not happy. <laughs> but there we go. Oh. Damn contracts, eh? Anyway, till next time, guys.